Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 26th of 2022. Well, it is titled stars, dust and gas near Antares. So what do we see here? Well, this is the region of the sky near the constellation of Scorpius and the bright star Antares, which is the bright star at the heart of the scorpion. And we see that it is a part near the plane of our galaxy because we see a lot of nebulae present. Nebulae are associated with star formation and are associated with the disk portion of our galaxy. Our galaxy is a spiral galaxy, which is a flat disk. So sort of like a pancake shape flattened down. And then within that disk is where most of the material, including gas and dust like we see here are. Now around this we see a number of different things and a couple of them are labeled for you. And up to the upper left hand side we see the Rho Ophiuchi star system. And that is the stars at the center there but the blue color around it is a reflection nebula. And that's where a hot star uh, scatters its light off the dust around it. And that gives it that distinct blue color. It's blue because the dust is much better at scattering blue light than red. So it has a tendency to look very blue. We can also see some red emission towards the right hand side upper right, which is emission due to hydrogen gas. When hydrogen gas is excited, it gives off a distinct red color as one of its primary emissions. And we can see that in regions where there are hot young stars as well. And that is the uh, primary uh, component of the universe. So most things in the universe are made up of hydrogen. And it is the most common element in the universe making about 90% of the atoms. So we're not used to thinking of it like that since we're here on Earth and Earth is kind of one of the oddballs things like planets do not have a lot of hydrogen, especially terrestrial planets like our Earth. So but we see here is a lot of hydrogen gas scattered around and in fact most of what we see would be hydrogen. Uh, down below the emission nebula we do see the star cluster a globular cluster known as M4 and a globular cluster is a grouping of 100,000 stars or so that are bound together under their own gravity. So they're some of the oldest parts of our galaxy and here we happen to be able to see one through all the dust and gas in this part of the sky. Finally, at the bottom, we do see Antares with an interesting yellow reflection nebula, a little different than what we're used to seeing. And Antares is a red supergiant star, um, one of the brighter stars within the night sky, and one that can be easily seen in generally in the fall. Uh, when you look out to the south, uh, it will be there in the same direction as the uh, Sagittarius, which has the center of our galaxy, which would be a little bit uh, off to the side of this. So here we get to see some of that dark dusty regions as well as some of the nebulae uh, scattered around uh, this part of the sky and a much more distant star cluster well beyond those. So that was our picture of the day for January 26th of 2022. It was titled stars dust and gas near Antares. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.